There's been quite a lot. Kemi Olunoyo has been in the news. Yeah. And she has been in the news for a number of reasons in recent time. She mm. always finds a way to make herself relevant. Mm. And that is, and it, it comes to commenting on social issues or issues that are happening at the world, trending issues. Uh, but her last comment on a particular issue, she, I think it, it was a Twitter space or something, didn't go down with, with a number of people. And uh, it earned her a petition from... Mm. Uh, from uh, from Falano, mm. who petitioned her because what she mentioned concerning that, uh, talking about Sylvester Romani case, mm -hmm. the Darwin yes. College case, she yes. mentioned about how that the young boy who passed on wanted to be a cult, wanted, uh, to uh, wanted to join, and, okay. and that was why he was beaten on, which I felt was just so unnecessary out of anywhere, and she was petitioned. Where do you get your sources from? Where yeah. do you get all the stories from and all of that, you yeah. know? And then she fires back at uh, the elder Falano. Mm. Uh, who, of course, is one of the most respected legal luminaries in Africa. Mm. Uh, I, a lot of people didn't like that also. Mm. Mm. And so uh, a, a, a journalist, or at least one that we are very sure of, that we know about, David Houdain, um, went in to dig. Uh, I, this is not, not, not just now. It's something yeah. he has been well, definitely working Probably on for a while. Probably working on for a while. And he went to dig into her, uh, yeah. you know, her history yeah. and all of that. Checked, found, went to find out the real reason why she was deported from Canada and a lot mm -hmm. of all of that. And apparently, she's not a doctor, which she claims to be. She's mm -hmm. not a music executive, as she claims to be. She's not uh, okay. many things, including <laughs> a journalist, including as she claims journalist, to be. Yeah. And Baba brought, he brought, mm -hmm. when that guy does some work, like yeah, I am, he goes digging. He yeah. brought, yeah. Ma he brought receipts. Mm. I'm talking about from. From from councils that she claimed to be in the Grammys, mm -hmm. he brought receipts. He he, he he spoke about how she was connected to the places she, in quote, lied about. He brought receipts down mm. and said, "Look, she has a BS mm. in pharmacy. She is not a medical doctor." Mm. You know, I mean, it's it's mm. one investigative journalist against another. Another supposed investigative <laughs> journalist. Um, Kemi Loyo has been spewing a lot of mm. rots mm. on social media. I'm trash. I would say. Serious trash. She is a very violent person, mm. which of course, I'm one of those people that has said severally that I think she needs to be checked. Mm. When she made that inhumane statement, because mm. it was yes, very yes, inhumane, yes, I agree, I agree it was with you. inconsiderate, you, she didn't have to say anything if she didn't have anything to say. Mm. Anything it was, to say. It, was, it was not right at all. I mean, mm. did, you even, did she even stop to consider the families yeah, of the, the parents. boy? Mm. Mm. The parents. Mm. I mean, the everybody. The students who are friends with this boy. Yeah. Everybody. Everybody, one way or the other, whether you're connected mm. or, di or, or directly related to this kid or not, have felt, yeah. you know, what this boy went through. And then you came out without no, 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 no claim, no evidence, mm. nothing. Even if it was true. As in... Even if, <laughs> even if it was true, mm. it wasn't right. Mm. And I'm glad that the police are right now on this matter. They are also investigating her claims because they are supposed claims. They are investigating and she's been calling for questioning. And I think that she really needs to mm. be stopped. Mm. So there's, there's some rules about, <clears throat> especially when a case is already in court, mm. you're not supposed to actually dwell on it anymore mm. um, if you are actually truly a professional journalist you would know this once the case is in court you drop it you let all the parties who are doing the investigation carry on with it carry on mm -hmm. and let everything then a child's life was lost here um, it's already said well in, in many um, different cultures you don't say ill of the dead Mm. And that is exactly what she did. So I can, I can never... She, she literally said yeah. he asked for it. You know, that is what she was it, trying it, to connect. You know, I, and I, I find it hard you know, to believe um, how many people cons uh, said to follow her and believe her mm -hmm, a lot. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm, I'm, I'm mm -hmm. just going to say to those who listen to people online, um, you need to just have your facts before you start... Forwarding and reposting things that exactly. people say exactly. because you're hurting people. Exactly. Mm. That's I what feel like I, I feel like you're very right. Mm. Anybody can say rubbish. Yeah. The point is that you when you when you give fire to this kind of rubbish yes. and you put yeah. it out, yeah. that's a thing. I and mean, so sure. Ada Ame, this has gone so yeah. far. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of people mm. yeah. going back and forth. Some are like yeah. she should talk, you know. Yeah. Shut up. And, social, <laughs> and I need to really say this quickly. Social media has become a tool for PR in fake news. Yeah. I think we also need to be yeah. um, aware of mm. the kind of news that we carry before we carry it. Mm. Mm.